Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for pumpkin spice sugar cookies. The recipe calls for simple ingredients that you probably already have on hand. And as always, I'll make sure to leave a link to the recipe in the description box. For this recipe, you're going to need flour, sugar, butter, an egg, vanilla, nutmeg and cinnamon, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is start off by creaming our butter and our sugars. Um, I have um, let my butter soften, so, and also this is unsalted butter. So I've got my butter, I just added in my white sugar, adding in my brown sugar and I am just going to use a mixer and beat this until it's smooth. Next, I'm just adding in my vanilla and my egg, which is also at room temperature, and I am just going to continue to mix it all together. Next, I'm gonna take my dry ingredients and whisk them into the flour. So this is my cinnamon and my nutmeg and my pumpkin pie spice. And I just like to mix it together just to make sure that everything is well combined. The recipe does not call for this at all. It's just something that I do. It's just my personal preference. And so now all you're gonna do, once you have all of your dry ingredients incorporated, is just mix a little bit of the flour mixture into your um, sugar mixture a little at a time. Okay, so now it's time to roll out some cookies. On my mat here, I've sprinkled some powdered sugar. I prefer to use powdered sugar over flour because I don't like when the cookies are really floury tasting. Um, so I'm just patting it out a little bit right here. Just gonna roll it out. And then use whatever shapes you prefer. I'm using a cute little pumpkin. And then I also have a leaf here. Okay, so these are ready to go into the oven. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees, and I'm gonna bake these for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they get a little brown around the edges. Okay, so here are the cookies. This ended up making about three dozen cookies. They are so good. They're not super sweet, so if you wanted to add icing to them, that would be really good as well. One tip I wanted to share is as soon as you take them out of the oven, go ahead and take them off of the cookie sheet, put them on a cooling rack because these do tend to stick a little bit. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.